Hey there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make lists in OneNote, SharePoint, and Outlook. All three applications have different features that you might want to pull into your list, and there's pros and cons to making lists in each of the applications. Today I'm going to compare how to make a list in each and what features you might want to incorporate that are very specific per application. So we'll start in SharePoint here, and I've got a link below this video that shows you how to create a SharePoint list, but I've already created one that we're going to go off to today. Now lists in SharePoint are very good for collaboration because you can pull in colleagues from your organization into your shared SharePoint site. SharePoint's a very good area to pull in company data, a lot of shared resources, so it makes it easy for projects like software development, bugs and ticket management, and so on. I've got a more simple example today. Let's say I work at a training facility and we need to train a ninja to become the ultimate ninja by the end of the year. And I've got a list here of all the things I want to take care of before the end of the year and the due date for when I want to set each goal. I've assigned each task to a certain person, uh, one including the ninja itself, the weightlifter instructor, the yoga instructor, and I'm able to customize this table as much as I need to. As you can see, we have the list here. Now if I want to go in and add some columns, I'll just click here and select Modify this view. And I'm taken to this page where I have a lot of options and a lot of things I can add to my list. I'm able to add all these different columns that they've suggested as things I need by. And as you can see, it suggests apps and attachments and other types of content you might want. For example, I might want to add content type as a column in my ninja training list. Uh, for instance, if it's a race to be completed or if it's a nutritional related item, I can specify that in this column here. I also have options to customize sorting depending on how I want to view my table, filters, and all these other options here that I can filter a list of tasks in a list on SharePoint. When I'm done with my edits, I'll click OK. So if I want to add a new column, I'll just go to edit this list and it takes me to an editing table here. Let's say I want to add a column. I'll click this plus sign here and select the type of content I want to put inside. I'm going to say text and make a column for notes. And here I can easily go in and enter my text. So I'll add in here that acquiring the black belt is a 2016 resolution. I can add in the train for 10k item here that there's a race in Nashville I want to look into. So as you can see it's very customizable and you know it's a better use case for a software or a version of project management where you have more technical items to track but to give you an idea of how it works I thought this would be a fun idea. So we recently created a video that's also below this video that you can reference on explaining the difference between tasks and to-do lists in Outlook. So we'll start in our tasks here to show you how to-do lists work in here. So the good thing about making a list in Outlook is that it's automatically tied to an email message. Outlook's a really great place to create your to-do lists. So to show you how it works, I'll go back to mail and I'm going to flag this post here. When I click this red flag, this email is automatically added to my to-do list. And so here I can see the new flag email that I've added on my to-do list. Your to-do list in Outlook is tightly integrated with your emails. And what's really great is that you can easily share this to-do list with others straight through email. So if I wanted to share this to-do list item with anyone inside or outside of my organization, I can select it and forward to someone. This makes it really easy to make lists that multiple people are using, whether it's people inside your organization or outside of your organization. And to share a to-do list item, it doesn't necessarily have to be someone that uses Outlook. You can share it with people that use other cloud office platforms. Now to show you how to create lists in OneNote, I'll just preface this by saying OneNote is the master of organization and lists. I say this because it has the most wide variety of features. The lists in OneNote allow you to make personal notes um, and add certain things that you can't add in lists in other applications. However, the ones in other applications also have their pros, like their integrations with your SharePoint site or straight from your email like we saw in Outlook. But to show you how lists work in OneNote, I've created a table here that I actually imported from Excel, which is really great in OneNote because OneNote is tightly integrated with other applications. So for instance, I've gone in here and added tags for 
the food allergies for these conference attendees. If I need to change anything, I can simply just delete it and then go back in here and adjust. Some really cool features in OneNote list that you can add are audio recording. So, for example, let's say there's a name on the conference attendees that you always have trouble pronunciating and you need to make a note to yourself to remember exactly how to say it because they're a VIP at this conference. So I'm gonna make a quick drawing so it catches my attention and then I can actually insert an audio file. So I'll click this here and it'll start recording. Audrey Ramirez. I can stop the recording and you see this icon here that's the recording I just did. So when I'm going through my notes in preparation for the conference, I'll just click that to remind myself how to say her name correctly. Thanks for joining us today. I hope this gave you a good idea of how lists work differently in each application. There's pros and cons to making lists in every application. So I hope this video teaches you about all the options you have in making lists in these three different applications.